Question number 21. Which of the following is a symptom of acute kidney injury, AKI? The options are hypertension, hypoglycemia, oliguria, or hypernatremia. The correct answer is C, that is oliguria. Oliguria, reduced urine output, is a common symptom of acute kidney injury, indicating impaired kidney functions. Question number 22. Which of the following substances is not normally filtered by the kidneys? The options are urea, glucose, albumin or creatinine. The correct answer is C that is albumin. Albumin is a large protein molecule that is not normally filtered by the glomerulus. Its presence in urine is indicative of kidney damage. Question number 23. Which part of the nephron is responsible for the secretion of the hormones such as renin? The options are glomerulus, loop of Henle, proximal convoluted tubule or jex taglomerular apparatus. The correct answer is D that is jex taglomerular apparatus. The juxtaglomerular apparatus located near the glomerulus secretes renin in response to changes in blood pressure. Question number 24. Which condition is characterized by the enlargement of one or both kidneys due to the accumulation of urine? Your options are glomerulonephritis, polycystic kidney disease, nephrolithiasis or Pylonephritis. The correct answer is B that is polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease is a genetic disorder characterized by the formation of fluid filled cyst in the kidneys, leading to kidneys enlargement and dysfunction. Question number 25th What is the normal pH range of urine in humans? Your options are 4.5 to 5.5, 6.0 .5, to 7.0, 7.35 to 7.45 or 8.0 to 9.0. The correct answer is B that is 6.0 to 7.0. The normal pH range of urine in humans is slightly acidic, typically between 6.0 to 7.0. Question number 26. Dear friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending 30 most repeated and most important question answer session based on human kidney. This is the part 2 of this two series. And I'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part as the first part contains very important questions, very special questions based on human kidney. So, the link of the video has been given in the descriptions or you can click on this i button to find it. So get ready to challenge yourself and friends if this video is helping you then make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Your support means world to us. So don't miss out. Hit subscribe now and let's keep the journey going together. Question number 26. Which part of the nephron is responsible for the secretion of hydrogen ions and potassium ions into the urine? Your options are glomerulus. Loop of Henle, proximal convoluted tubule or distal convoluted tubule? The correct answer is D that is distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubule regulates acid base balance and electrolyte levels by secreting hydrogen ions and potassium ions into the urine. Question number 27. Which of the following substances is reabsorbed by the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. The options are water, sodium chloride, urea or glucose. The correct answer is B that is sodium chloride. The ascending limb of the loop of Henle actively reabsorbs sodium chloride from the filtrate contributing to the establishment of the medullary osmotic gradient. Question number 28. 
which of the following structure connects the kidneys to the bladder the options are urethra ureter nephron or renal renal artery the correct answer is b that is ureter ureters are muscular tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder for storage and eventual elimination through the urethra question number 29 Which of the following substances is primarily responsible for maintaining osmotic pressure in the blood? The options are urea, sodium, albumin, creatinine. The correct answer is C that is albumin. Albumin is a protein in the blood that contributes to the osmotic pressure of plasma, helping to maintain fluid balance between blood and tissues. Question number thirty: This substance is this substance is not normally found in urine. The options are urea, glucose, creatinine, or sodium. The correct answer is B. That is glucose. Glucose is usually reabsorbed by the kidney tubules, so its presence in urine is abnormal and may indicate diabetes mellitus. What is the main function of the collecting duct in the nephron? The options are filtration of blood, reabsorption of water, secretion of waste products or regulation of blood pressure. The correct answer is B that is reabsorption of water. The collecting duct reabsorbs water from the urine, concentrating it before it exhaled from the body. Question number thirty-three: Which hormone is responsible for stimulating the production of the enzyme renin in the kidneys? The options are aldosterone, anti-diuretic hormone ADH, angiotensin II, or atrial natriuretic peptide (ANP). The correct answer is A. That is aldosterone. Aldosterone produced by the adrenal glands stimulates the kidneys to release renin initiating the renin angiotensin aldosterone system friends it is a time to comment your score and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care